In this video, we'll have a look at some of the latest features that has been delivered by the SAP PIT, the Process Integration Test Tool by uh, SAP. Um, so one of the biggest things is that you now have a web UI. But I guess before we really get to that, we will need to step back and go back to the uh, developer studio and just see what's going on there. So. I guess I didn't do anything with uh, support package uh, 16. I think one of the things that we got there was we had the ability to create new test runs. So if we have some, some data here, we have a, a message here, we can run it. Uh, we can add run configurations here. So we'll create a new one. We will specify, we'll still need to specify where it needs to run. Um, on what system we can run it and we then get a new one we if we select here we can run here and this will oh it pops up on a different screen now you have the option to execute with verification or skip verification uh, but obviously i guess most people will do the the both uh, things in this both run and uh, execute so i think that really is an improvement uh, you can see the differences of these messages here you have the option to go in here find the, the difference and I think in, in 16 they added this uh, exemption lock that you now can get add this uh, expression and then this element would be ignored um, so we'll just say and we in here we need to save it then it will be activated and we can see what's going on in it um, but we don't want that because it's easy, better to, <laughs> to look at uh, errors in this uh, perspective. So we now have our test case. We have these uh, runs. And the thing is, uh, I think in, in Search Pack uh, 16, they added the option for you to create new test suites. In a test suite, you should then be able to add test cases, but for some reason, it does not work on... Ah, it pops up on a different screen here. You can select some test cases that you have. I'll take this one. Uh, and then you should be able to run them. So we can save here. We go to our screen here. Here we can see all the different runs we have. We can see... Let's see if it pops up in here. Uh, maybe we're missing something uh, on it. Um, so I guess it should be tested. It's a suite. Uh, here we can then possibly add something. Um, so, um, let's see. Turn around, re retry. Uh, you do have the option here to, to add elements to it. So you can click and create one and use one as, as a backup. Uh, or as a template for it, but apparently it's not copying all the content to it. And then in here you can then add all the different uh, test scripts that's a part of this. And the cool thing about this uh, UI is obviously that you don't need to have installed the uh, Eclipse to really do uh, to see what's going on in, in here. So you can run the... I, I'm not sure if you can run this. You can only schedule these, but you can so you can run a uh, run configuration from in here and view the result so you can see what's going on here you can view the obviously it's most interesting to see if there's errors and um, you can see that there's a different this message and you can see what expected and actually values and where these were placed so this gives us some some idea about uh, what's being processed and what's going on in our landscape and in here you have different ways you can create filters and query these things so if we look at the last week on messages with job results uh, with issues I think that's the one we want uh, by anybody I'll save that as a errors two, so we can save this filter now we've created a filter that shows at least here on just one Let's see if we filter we needed to have updated something 
Um, then out here on the, the dashboard, we can then add this error to filter. And then we can see these messages, what the stages and, and uh, what's going on in, in this case. So the other thing we also got here with with this is we have the ability to schedule these things so we can set to, to schedule and that's also one of the features in the FGAF tool that's been used a lot that you can run it every night to run all your test cases and see if there's any errors in it uh, so you can run it daily uh, end after some iterations uh, so you probably want to run it at to something uh, in the middle of the night um, so now and in the morning it will run. Uh, and you can save and now it will run. Hopefully tonight you can go in here, you can see the schedule of when these things will run, what's going on and uh, uh, yeah, the, the process of this thing. So, so this adds a lot of uh, improvements to, to the tool. Now, at FGAF we also have a test tool and I do think we still have some advantages if you want to see them uh, you can click on the video that's here or in the description I really hope you want to see that and see that we can make testing a lot easier so uh, if you like this video please uh, hit the, the like button uh, click subscribe and be sure to to see a lot of all the other content that I've done so uh, thanks for watching